Hello Internet, this is Scott with Scott's Garage and this evening I am privileged to be working on a 2013 Ford Taurus. This is the SEL. It has the larger six-cylinder engine. And the presenting problem is that when you drive the car it sounds like a tractor on the inside. You hear vibrations and there's just a lot of noise and the, the noise is coming from the rear hub assembly, so the, uh, where the lugs come out and the, the assembly and there's a bearing in there that's going. Uh, it causes the entire vehicle to vibrate. You can feel it in the, the steering wheel. Uh, when, you, when you're at highway speeds to slow down, you know, you can just rrr, 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 just hear it. It's uh, it's like a just an angry noise. It's a bearing going out. Um, you might even think it's coming from the front end, but I'm uh, positive that the sound transfers a little bit through the frame and, and you hear it, but it's uh, definitely the source is the rear uh, bearing or hub assembly. Okay, you can see I've removed the, the wheel and the vehicle is uh, safely um, jacked up and also a substantial uh, jack stand right there. I have both. So the next thing we need to do is remove the, the caliper and there are two 15 millimeter bolts. Uh, one of them is in view down here and there's another one on this uh, upper end. So we'll take those out and we may need to take the piston and collapse it. Um, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I'm just going to loosen the bolts and, and see if we can get the caliper off. Okay, I was able to just uh, remove the the caliper with no problem, and you want to put it into a safe place. You don't want it dropping down and putting pressure on the, the brake lines or anything. Uh, so I just was able to position it uh, with its weight on the knuckle back here. I think it's a safe spot. If you want to be sure, you could you know, take a strap or something and just give it some extra reinforcement. Um, the next thing we're going to do is remove the rotor. Uh, this might be tight. If it is, you just take a, you know, a, I don't know, five pound hammer and just kind of tap around here and the rotor should come off. I'm gonna uh, just try uh, pulling it off here. And there's a little T-bolt, actually a pretty large uh, T-bolt right there. It's a T-40 and you'll need to, to loosen that. By the way, if you're like me, you can be prone to losing bolts. I love these magnetic uh, trays. Uh, you can get this at Harbor Freight right now for free. Uh, just saying. Yeah, the rotor wouldn't just pull off. I had to use a little bit of persuasion. This is a five pound uh, mini sled just tapped around the, the edges. And it's, it's loose now. We'll pull that off. Okay, here's the bad rear assembly. You can feel it right there. I mean, you can even hear it. Fairings are shot on that. It's really a safety issue. Uh, these bearings like that would be heating up and, you know, could cause catastrophic failure. And, you know, there's just uh, absolutely no doubt that the bearings are bad. Okay, the next thing we need to do is remove the four inner bolts that they come in from the rear that, that hold the um, the wheel assembly on and here's the here's a new one so here's the front end with the lugs but then on the back side you can see one two three four so we'll be pulling those bolts back from the back side it is an 18 millimeter Okay, next you'll need to rent a, a loaner tool. I got this from O'Reilly's. It's about 80 bucks to rent it, but I'll get the full refund. And it's a slide hammer, and this is an axle uh, puller. And this is an attachment uh, to this. This, but um, So I'll put the lug nuts on, and you have to basically just uh, keep uh, doing that. You can see that it moves a little bit time I do it and eventually the whole thing will come out okay I've re removed the old bearing 
and where the where the wheel hub assembly, I should say, the bearings in that. And there's a bunch of crud in here. I'm I'm going to clean it all up. We don't want anything messing up the new bearing. So I am going to spray some some WD-40 in there and just get it all cleaned up. Okay, here is the new uh, bearing hub assembly, I should say, uh, out of the box. Uh, I just want to say that you can save quite a bit of money by ordering online, or in this case, this was a, a local parts supplier here in Phoenix. It's called Penny Pincher, and uh, it's uh, a Dura, Durago uh, 295-13275, SKU 295-13275, same thing. Um, you might say, well, these are, are cheap. Uh, it was fifty-two dollars uh, plus tax. Well, you could you could go to a store like O'Reilly's and you know pay one hundred and thirty for really the exact same thing. Um, this also comes with the same warranty as the ones you can buy at O'Reilly's. Go to a mechanic and they're going to charge you two hundred bucks for this, and it's a fifty-dollar part. Okay, I placed the new uh, rear hub that contains the bearing um, in place. I have not put the bolts in yet. Um, notice, if you will, if you look in here, you'll see little splines, and, and the reason for that, there's no axle going through there, because this is a front-wheel drive car, uh, but it's the same assembly for the front and the rear, um, so that's the, the reason for that. Okay, and putting new assembly on, on, it's a little bit easier to let there be a little bit of slack, you pull it kind of out a ways, and then you can let the bolts go through and line them up more easily to the, the threads here. And then once all four are in place, uh, then you can push it in place like that and, and tighten them. I'm also going to look up the torque specs. It's important uh, for these to be torqued in correctly. You'll need a torque wrench for that. Okay. The bolts are torqued in place. It's time now to put the, the rotor back on, and then we'll put the caliper back in place. Okay, my camera died. I thought I was filming and I wasn't. You're gonna have to just reverse order with the caliper and putting the wheel back together. Okay, I'm test driving, and the car is nice and smooth. Uh, it does not sound like a, a rattle like a tractor. And so the bearing was the main Cause, the cause of the road noise. You can see as I'm slowing down here, which is normal noise of, of slowing down. But anyway, this is Scott with Scott's Garage. If you like the video, please hit like. Um, also, please subscribe to my, my channel and hit the bell notification for the next video. And see you in the next video. Have a great day.